welcome back guys today i'm going to be ranking up products that tiktok made me buy um i don't have tiktok okay let's just get right into it so i have a tier list i don't really remember my tiers off the top of my head so let me look the tiers are chef's kiss so this is like the best of them all like so good like you have to buy it um our next one is she's good like she's a good product it's not like top tier but she's really good and then next we have mid she's like she's good she's she's not she's not super good but she's also not horrible kind of middle maybe wouldn't repurchase maybe would repurchase i don't know we'll just see what ends up there and then we have we have a no so this is like kind of bad you know and then we have hate like this product is horrible like don't buy it so basically from this video if you guys are looking to get any of these products this video will be your guide on what's the good stuff to buy and what's the bad stuff to buy we have a whole different variety of products we mostly have like skincare makeup stuff in that category but we also have like some shoes some like some other stuff too you know like some random like we have we got jelly cats we got stanley's we got it all but our first product of the day hair styling stuff this stuff is so good it helps with your slick backs really well and honestly we're starting off with a bang because i would put this stuff in chef's kiss i highly recommend it's so good next i have the amica soul food mask i know this product is very popular hence why i bought it i would put her in mid like i've had much better like hair masks and stuff but i mean it's not like she's horrible but I also it's not like i would repurchase it moving on we got the function of beauty shampoo and conditioner i don't really know if these are popular anymore um but i have them i was influenced by them they had so many brand deals and i was like oh that is cool so i have these for the shampoo and conditioner set and then i have like the wavy hair one actually i have curly hair for some reason i don't know why i got curly instead of wavy because i have wavy hair but i have the curly one and i would say it's good not horrible not great i'd probably put that one in mid too Next, we have the GlossierBalm.com. I really like this stuff, but I mean, I've definitely had better. So I'm gonna put this one in, she's good. I want the Summer Fridays one, and I think that one would probably be from what I've heard, Chef's Kiss. I think that one's good. And continuing on from Glossier, I just bought this because I know this brand is super well known. Um, So this is the glossier milky jelly cleanser and this stuff i actually think is really good and it smells really good too so i'm gonna put her in she's good she, she's a good product next up these are amazing these chef's kiss they make your skin so dewy so pretty i love these i think these are such a good purchase and honestly if you're about if you're like looking to get one thing that's like not too expensive from this haul i would get these they're so good Next up, we have actually a lot of Glow Recipe. These are like the Strawberry, sal sal I don't know how to say that, Salicylic Serum. This, I would probably put it in mid. It's like, eh, not the greatest. Next, I have the toner. I only have the mini one, and it's really tiny, and it's almost gone. But I think it's good. I think it's a good product, so I'm going to put it in She's Good. Definitely not as good as the Dew Drops, though. Next, this is our last Glow Recipe thing. This is the Plum Plump like facial cream. Looks like that. I actually thought Plum would smell bad, but it smells good. And I would probably put this in mid because it's like there's better stuff, but it's also kind of good. Next, I have the Ilia Blush. Um, that's in my bathroom right now, and it's looking a little rough. But I would probably put that in She's Good because it's a good mascara. But moving on, the Ilia Multi Stick let me swatch her for you sorry that is the color and i hate this product <laughs> literally going in hate uh so you can like i put a lot on my hand but if you rub it in it kind of like it just goes away like it doesn't really look like it went away but and if it like doesn't go away it like it doesn't blend that good and it's for like your lips or your or blush but i'm gonna put this in hate i think it's actually a bad product and i would not recommend this at all next up we got the isla paradise tanning drops these it's basically just tanning drops for your face they look like this they're just like clear 
and let's just say when I used these they made my face look orange I used them twice and both times my face was orange literally the second time I used like three drops only no they I'm gonna put them in no because it's not like I hate them as much as this thing but I'm gonna put them in no because it's just it's not good next I have the way I don't know how to say that I think it's you say it like way it's the wave spray i actually really like this stuff i highly recommend and i feel like it was kind of a good price um and they do they are good it it, it makes your waves look good guys that's what i'm trying to say we got like my this is honestly like the perfect blush i feel like it's like literally the like if i don't know it's a good blush you guys though that's what i'm trying to say She's so pigmented, which is something I personally really like. I like it when my stuff is really pigmented because, guys, this is going to last me so long. She is good. My only complaint is whenever I open and, like, close it, it all just gets around here. And it wastes so much product. And it's, like, a mess. Every time I do that, I have to, like, wipe it. And it's just a lot. But I'm still going to put her in Chef's Kiss because I think it's a really good one. Continuing on with Rare Beauty. I have the Rare Beauty Concealer. This stuff is actually so crusty. I use it every day. Um, I don't know why I use it every day because I'm putting it in mid because it's actually not even that good. But yeah. She's, she's mid. There's definitely better concealers. Next up, we got the Say Lip Oil. I'm putting her in Chef's Kiss. She's a pretty lip oil. Let me swatch her for you on my hand. Like, do you, you see that color? It's so pretty, so glossy. I really like this stuff, and it feels really good on your lips. So, I'm putting her in Chef's Kiss. I think this is a good lip oil. Moving on to, yeah, again, another Chef's Kiss product. Sol de Janeiro Sprays. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Oh, sorry, this is like crooked. Um, This is my one in 68. This is like my favorite smell um i got it because one of my friends always had it and she always smelled so good so i have this it's so good and then i also have the little mini like 62 and this one i still think is really good but i definitely like that one way better and i but i think they're really good products but we're not putting them in just kiss because guys the smell does not stay on good at all. It's like it does not last you all day. It literally lasts me like 30 minutes. So we're putting in She's Good, which kind of makes me sad because it's such a good product. But the smells don't last. Okay, wait. Maybe I'll put them in, them in Just Kiss because, I mean, okay, yeah, a movie. Yeah, I can't put them in so good. They're a great product. And, like, looking at my other stuff I put in so good, they they beat them. So, okay, we're, they're going in Chef's Kiss. I changed my mind. We got the Bum Gum Cream. This stuff I'm probably going to put in so good. Because um, it smells really good. I don't actually know how the other ones smell. I only know how this one smells. And I think it smells good. And it's pretty hydrating. This stuff, this smell does stay on for really long. But I'm going to put it in so good because, like, there's better lotions like one we have coming up next up we got the touch land hand sanitizer she is very dirty very empty very well loved um but my only complaint is who's paying ten dollars for hand sanitizer i mean obviously i am mine's like gone though but i mean obviously i'm paying ten dollars for hand sanitizer but I don't think I would repurchase it because I have like so much like Bath and Body Works hand sanitizers and like, um, so I don't know. I'm probably going to put it in no, honestly. No, I'll put them in mid because it's like, it's, it's good, but like not amazing. Next up, we got the Sol de Janeiro, Sol de Janeiro, hello, the Coco Colada Body Scrub. This stuff is really good. Sorry, my hair is driving me crazy. This stuff is really good and not too expensive. I have so many extras. It's kind of leaked though. But it smells so good. Um, putting her in so good. Because again, it's not like after your shower you're going to smell like that. It just smells like it doesn't stay on. And 
while we're at it, I got this. Oh my gosh. This is my favorite stuff. She's doing in Chef's Kiss. Oh my gosh. I wish you guys could smell this through the camera. It's my like favorite smell ever. Like I wish they made candles of this. Everything. Car refresheners. This is the best smell. And <clears throat> I mean it's the same as the. It's the same smell as my um, sugar strap. But this like actually stays on you all day. And it smells so good. I switched a little bit for the summer or like beach trips because you literally you will smell like a pina colada and it's it's amazing so yeah she's going in chef's kiss a hundred percent i said if you have to get one product that's kind of cheaper um from this haul get this but honestly no get this this stuff is good next up we have this do it for yourself journal i'm sure everyone has seen this i haven't really done it i probably should do it but I do like the quotes, I mean the prompts, and I think it is kind of like, you know, cute, cute pages. If you guys don't know how it looks, it actually is really cute, and like I said, I haven't really done it. I did like the first couple of pages, but I mostly got it as like decor. So I have this for like decor, and it's a really cute cover, and I put it in so good because Good journal prompts, really cute design, love. Next up, we got Colleen Hoover books. Um, I'm sure you guys have seen these. They're pretty common, they're pretty popular. Um, and I am not a reader, but these books I actually read, I actually enjoyed, I actually could read. Um, my favorite one is Verity, it's so graphic though. Um, so I'd probably like suggest don't read that unless you're like, I don't know high school minimum because i read those in middle school and like honestly i don't think i should have but yeah maybe be a high schooler if you're reading those or like at least eighth grade um these ones are like not as bad verity just like talks about killing in detail so like it kind of messes with your head so like read at your own risk um but these are my ones i have i also i do have um, it ends with us, which is like the first one out of the series, but I lost it. But I would read these books, Chef's Kiss, because they actually got me back into reading, and I think they're really good. This one's kind of messed up. Actually, they're all kind of messed up, but like, they're good, and they're actually entertaining. Um, you can't really read too much at once though, because they all kind of have the same plot, just kind of different. <laughs> Next up are my Uggs. Why are these so crusty? Wait, let me clean them before I show them. Wait, I actually, I skipped a product. I didn't see it. It's the Tower 28 lip oil. I really like this lip oil. I'm going to put it in so good. I forgot. I literally skipped this product. Ooh, she's pretty. Yeah, like, I'm going to put it in so good. It's not as good as the Say one, but it's a good one. I'm cleaning my shoes. They actually were crusty, though. Okay, guys, we got the Uggs. Let me show you how they look. They look like this from like the ice outside or like the, not the ice, the salt. Okay, so these are probably my most worn shoes. They're so cute, so comfy. They're just everything I love and more. And wait, also, I don't know why, but I actually really like how the bottoms look. And it's so cool when you're walking in the snow and it leaves out mark, it's cool. But I really like them and they're really comfy. So I'm putting them in Chef's Kiss and they're so cute. My only complaint is everyone has uggs like everyone in your school will have uggs will have uggs does have uggs everyone in your school has uggs i bet like every girl some guys like there's so there's so many but these are my favorite and i feel like most people not as many people have these maybe like five have these ones most people have the slippers which i honestly i don't like them those that much they're cute but not like so cute but I really like those and I think they're really cute and they're really comfy and yeah, they're cute. And then next up, why is this video so long? I didn't realize I had this many. Are the Birkenstock Boston Clogs. These are like a fake dupe, so they actually look so real. I got them from Target, um, but these I actually really like. I'm sure the Birkenstock ones would be more comfy, but my complaint is my like toe kind of gets like, kind of starts to hurt in the side, but Honestly, these are a good dupe if you're looking for one. And I think these are $30 from Target. Oops. 
but they're so cute and they're they look exactly like the real ones though even like the sides and everything they look so real so if you want to get dupe get them from target but i really like these i think they're really cute um so i would rate these so good and i would get them get them from target though because they're literally the same i swear next up this is our second to last one we got jelly cats this is my octopus jelly cat and i actually love it i want the turtle one with to like be her friend but i love her jelly cats i rate them chef's kiss because they're so cute they're kind of expensive but like who cares it's worth it um but yeah she is a cutie i love her and then our last product product this is not a product is a stanley cup mm. Once again, we have another so good. And I know so many people are like hating on Stanley's right now and everything. But truthfully, they make you drink more water. They're so convenient because you just carry it. They're not that heavy. Except sometimes I have this one filled to the top. It is kind of heavy. I have two Stanley's. I have this one and then I have a purple one. This one is like, I don't know. It's kind of different than the other ones. But I like this design like better. My purple one's kind of like the one everyone has. But this one like is kind of different and I like it. But I think this one's really good. And this is something you should buy. I feel like, why would I buy a $40 cup? Um, because it's good. Actually, I promised myself one day, I was like, I'm never going to buy myself a Stanley. I'm like, I'm only having this one. And then I was having a mental breakdown one day about something really stupid. I'm not saying what it was. Um... I'm not saying what it was, but um, I I got one. I I I literally bought one. Um, so yeah, now I have two. But this is my OG one. She's my baby. She actually is like chipped a little. It's okay though. She's just well loved. She's like over a year old. So not to brag, but I swear I was like the first person in my school to get Stanley. But yeah. I hope you guys found this video helpful. A lot of these products I rated really high, but I hope I helped you guys kind of like figure out what stuff is worth it, what stuff isn't worth it, and you know, yeah. So thank you guys all so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.